My Haunted Hotel is the world's most documented ongoing paranormal investigation. Everything you see is real. Viewers may find some scenes disturbing. In all the years of owning this building, there's one particular area that always gets results. One of the very first bits of visual evidence that we caught here at the hotel was found right here where we will be investigating tonight. Tonight's investigation, we are going to conduct what's known as the Singapore theory, here in one of the biggest hotspots at my haunted hotel. There is an area within this 400 year old building which continuously provides unexplainable moments and thanks to the ongoing documentation of this unique project, the footage captured can be shown to the world. Believed to have once been a 17th century brothel, the ghostly voices of the women who once worked here are still heard to this day and the mysterious shadow figure sweeps through the floors of this historic location. The last three weeks have been highly active here, and we must now attempt to plunge this hotspot into darkness in order to replicate what it would have once been as we aim to trigger a huge response which may provide us with yet more compelling evidence that the energy of those who once walked on these floors still exists today. So the most famous paranormal occurrence in this building is the shadow figure, and it's predominantly been seen on this floor. Now, Back in 2014, I had a poker night on where the brothel area is now and I was with another girl behind the bar and this shadow passed in between both of us as a it, almost human-like, went through us all, high-pitched shriek and it went cold at the same time. We then caught that image on camera, we had a paranormal investigator who caught the image in three different locations. So it started off just here, it was like headless had no feet it was but still humanoid like it then went into this area here we used to have stools for the bar and it then looks like it's sitting on the bar a shape here and in the last picture what looks like a civil war soldier standing just peering around this corner we are going through what we call the ghost book here at the hotel. It's actually an old folder full of handwritten letters from when people have stayed here or when they've, they've come to the pub uh, and the hotel and they've left notes basically ex telling us their experiences. And there's a few in here that mention the fact that they, they were here for a wedding or they were here for a, a function, a birthday party. And time and time again, this shadow figure keeps coming up until I actually only spotted this photo today. This photo was sent in to us back in 2014 of two people having a fairly innocent photograph just through in the function room. And right there is this same shadow figure that we keep seeing in this same area. The, the evidence with this shadow figure just keeps coming up and repeating itself over and over again and we need to find out why. For me to see this shadow figure in, in real time, it was unbelievable. I thought I'd be really scared, but I wasn't. It was more of a calming effect. Now, we could then verify it with photographs, at, like literally about three months later. And also guests that came in here and stayed in the hotel as it was, I've also got pictures of it, which are left in the ghost book downstairs. 
When Harry first installed the cameras during the COVID-19 pandemic, he believes this famous shadow figure was captured again, and this raw footage may just back up that claim. There was nobody in this area, and you can clearly see a black mass that blocks out the light. But these sightings are just a tiny portion of what happens within this area of the building, and over the last 18 months, we have documented a huge array of evidence on this middle floor. Uh, we have just heard, oh, just like a, like a squeak. Yeah, I think that's the best way I can describe it, really. That was definitely in the brothel one, wasn't it? Sounded this way, but. I can check for you can't be anyway, so. Oh my fing god! It's a three already, so. What was that? Like a s squeal or something, then what was that? I don't know. That's not Peter, is it? When I used to do investigations here seven, eight years ago, the brothel section, or what we know as the brothel section, was always the highlight area of my investigations simply because we just used to get ridiculously unexplained phenomena happening. I remember leaving a, a digital voice recorder behind the doorway to the office, our control room, and captured a woman's voice saying, welcome. And that for me was the moment I really knew that this was a special hotspot area for paranormal activity. And since being part of the My Haunted Hotel project, the amount of things that we have captured in this room, the amount of things that we have witnessed firsthand, along with eight or nine guests who are with us at the time it happens is a very special thing to occur because to see their faces light up knowing that they have just witnessed a, a direct voice phenomena or they've they've seen something move uh, i take it back to, to last year when we had that epic moment where the glass just flew across the bar in front of guests these are very special moments and these are moments that you can't take away from these first-hand witnesses. Brett Jones and I sitting in the control room and watching the chair on this table move and capturing it on two cameras. It's just a very, very unique area, but I always say you can't have hauntings without history. And a huge part of history happened right here in this room. And tonight, what we need to do is conduct an experiment known simply as the Singapore theory. It's where you place an area back into that time zone or you wear clothing that takes you back into that time zone in order to try and trigger a paranormal event to happen, a residual moment to occur. If we can turn this area into a, a candle lit room, which it would have been 400 years ago, then we may just witness one of those unique moments and be able to capture it. We have three, four different cameras within this area alone. If something happens, we will capture it. We shut down most of the electricity on the middle floor and candles will be our only source of light. We also have an EVP station set up in the old brothel and we were now about to conduct the Singapore theory in what will turn out to be one of our best investigations yet. We have just began our investigation here and the first time the, the three of us have conducted what is simply known as the Singapore theory. Uh, we have placed this entire middle floor in candlelight and we are going to conduct a number of experiments but already here since shutting off most of the electricity and arming the, um, the the cameras it has a very sort of still and almost relaxed feel yeah it feels really relaxing as you just said then it's the candles make us 
Sleepy doggy bus. It is nice. It's nice. I, I quite happily sit here all night the way the way it is now. Now, the difficult thing about doing this is obviously we are in a city centre, so we have the noise of traffic going past, and um, we still have the odd sort of buzzing or clicking from various sources of electricity within the building, so we can't thoroughly put this building back in time. However, by doing this, it may just possibly trigger something, and right now we are going to conduct a paracast session put some frequencies into the building straight away to see if anything can manifest. And we've also got a H4 in the old brothel back there, which is gonna be rolling the entire night. As our investigation begins, it was vital that the entire building was empty for this experiment. And with the downstairs bar closed, Harry, Brett and I were the only people in the hotel. You tell me the shadow figure that lurks these hallways and these rooms. Can you tell us what it is? Who it is? Where it comes from? <laughs> Ladies, can you hear us? We are three. Gentlemen, we bring you coin tonight. We wish for you to offer us your services. Suddenly, something unbelievable happens, and this sparks off a wave of activity which continues for the entire investigation. What was that? What was that? It was like three really quick knocks. The first one, I can't explain. The second one is the wind blowing through the chimney. What's that? That's outside, I think. Was it? And it's worth noting right now that the downstairs bar is closed. There is no one in here apart from the three of us. Oh, that was it again. That was the same, exactly the same three I knocks. I just heard a child's voice. Did you hear that we had just heard a range of unexplained banging noises and then incredibly a disembodied child's voice shouts in the old brothel section which our H4 microphone captures perfectly. We are 100% sure that this comes from the old brothel and remember that last year we captured this. That was the same, exactly the same three I knocks. just heard a child's voice. Did you hear that then? Just heard a child's voice through in the old brothel here. And again, the knock. What the hell is going on? That was quick. We are immediately into points of interest right away here. Can you make a loud banging sound for us once more? Maybe worth now moving straight into the old brothel. Mm -hmm. As we move into the old brothel, we switch on the Intravox device which delivers Hertz frequencies into the room. And after such an amazing capture, the wave continues. Where are the ladies? The ladies that work here? Where is the madame that says welcome? Can you serve us now? We are less than an hour into this investigation and already we have heard a ton of audio. Uh, DVPs, we've had banging. Charles Griffith, sir, is this your establishment? Yeah, that bang. It was the air somewhere? Yeah. This feels like it's going to be mad active, you know.
Who is with us now? Who wishes to speak? Do you think we can see you, please? Whoa. Is that above you, that yeah. was? Yeah, that was like too clean. Like, bang, bang, right above us. We have just heard knocking above us, which is room five and the room's camera captures the audio. But we will have to check the cameras back for that. But we should have, we should have definitely captured that sound. still hear noises up there. What the What was that? I can't hear from over here. Holy f that was through there. That was like... Ah, oh, it, it was like... Yeah, that's exactly oh, what God. it was. It's through here. Let's go, let's go look. Oh man, what the hell was that? What's flashing over there? Brett and I have both heard knocking coming from the kitchen area and shortly we will show you the camera's footage from the kitchen but as we head in to check it out Harry remains in the old brothel when this happens Something just said sorry to me. <laughs> Serious? I, I, I was hoping, I was hoping something happened to you. Yeah. I was like, I was asking how and I just went, sorry. Sorry. Oh, f hell. We're about two hours into the investigation tonight and it's been, it's been manic. Uh, we've heard bangs, voices, I think we heard the baby say something before. We had not seen a wave of activity like this for some time, and the possibility that this had been triggered by the Singapore theory is strong. We remain in the old brothel and attempt an Estes session. Brett is now going to be vessel for the Estes method, and we are using the SC6 spirit box for this, which gives the viewers chance to hear what Brett hears coming through this. Brett, are you ready? Yep. Wow, let's roll. Brett, can you hear me? Brett, can you hear me? We've heard your voices already. And we have heard possibly you moving around. If you can hear us now, then please, once again, make yourself known to us. Whether you be female, Man or child? We have a temperature pod in the doorway here to the brothel section which picks up on sudden sharp 5 degrees drops or rises in temperature. I have to say at this point this building is absolutely alive with activity at the minute. It feels like Brett's wore them type of things before on his face, doesn't it? Is there any Charles Griffith with us, sir? Are there any of the ladies? Present with us now. 
Whoa! Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. Again? I swear to God it's coming from room five. I felt like that was underneath us then. Really? If there's anyone in the room with us now, can you come towards the candles? Blow the candles out on the table? Whoa, what's up? Duh. What's up? Duh, something like breathe down my neck. Are you serious? Duh. Harry li- horrible. Brett, Harry literally said, can you blow the candles out? And we've been hearing movement again above us. Watch our thermal camera. This is the moment that Brett claims to feel a breath across him. But unfortunately, we are unable to back up that claim via the thermal imaging. Again though, there is clear knocking happening above us in room 5, and so we send Harry up there, whilst Brett and I remain in the old brothel. Brett and I have come into the old brothel now, and Harry has moved into room 5, where he is acting as the vessel for the Estes. There's absolutely no way he can hear us. He is alone up there and we are going to lead the call out from down here. I feel proper watched. Yeah, it doesn't. It feels weird in here today. The, the candlelight really makes this place feel... Uh, it sounds weird, like authentic. Candles here are almost out. That's how long we have been investigating for. Um, You can just hear in the distance like faint music from down the street, you can hear cars, you can hear the odd person walking past. Woman's voice. Like a scream. Why do you make noises in the room above? What is it that lies within that room? Woman's voice. I can, I think I said I can see you. I've just got the urge to look in the bathroom. What is in that room? Man's voice buried. Once again, our theory that the true secret of this building lies within room five has resurfaced as Harry hears a man's voice saying buried in direct response to Brett's question. And with unexplained noises heard within room five earlier, we have to ask, is it possible that an intelligent haunting is trying to make us aware of something or someone buried within room five? We needed to review the cameras. Do you want access to weekly exclusive content? Oh my God. You have access to a whole span of content, including three exclusive series. Episodes every week, real guests, having real experiences. Oh this is the number one place for fans of my Haunted Hotel. Join us now at myhauntedhotel.vhx.tv We had just spent the last four hours conducting the Singapore theory here at My Haunted Hotel and we had managed to capture some true paranormal evidence. And as we review the footage in the control room, we begin to understand how active this investigation had been. We've come into the control room and we are about to make our way through four hours worth of investigation to understand where those noises that we were hearing were coming from and we've heard I'd go as far as saying over 20 different noises tonight mm. yeah oh yeah easily yeah I, I just heard something just before you press record I, it's just constant like to the point that I've stopped hearing it almost it's just there I've got a theory there's kind of thund thunderstorms looming in the UK at the moment isn't it mm. the weather has been weird today when mm -hmm. I was driving here earlier it was like there was some sort of Instagram filter on the sky yeah it was like orange it was really strange I wonder if it weather has something to do with it that was the same exactly the same three I knots. just heard a child's voice did you hear that, that then? Well, there's no one in here apart from the three of us 
Oh, look at it. oh my god. I can hear it. What is it? Oh, it goes on. It's not a child talking or something. Literally, it, it, it's the sound of a, a very small child in that brothel. And, and it just takes me back to when the old barman Tom witnessed that child crying. crying. Oh my god, that is incredible. It's definitely from that room as well, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. So clear. Those are the ones we heard whilst downstairs. Wow. See, I didn't hear this at the time. That's so clear as well, isn't it? That's literally what I heard, was knocking on the door. It's exactly what we heard. It was like someone wanted to <laughs> literally come in. It I wasn't far off literally answering the door. Four knocks on what we think is the kitchen door, which is, I mean, if we can put this camera through right now, you can see it. It's there. Oh my God. That's insane. <laughs> what a night. We've had literally everything happening. The building's come to life tonight and it's, it's really draining me to be honest with you. I can't wait to go to bed, but at the same time, I kind of want to stay up and experience more. I don't think it's going to stop tonight, and it's going to be interesting tomorrow to look back at the footage. There is something to the Singapore theory. We partly do it by decorating some of the rooms to match the things that, that have happened and things that we found here, but then plunging this whole building into darkness and just lighting it in candles seems to have stirred something up again. I definitely think it's something we need to revisit. Tonight was one of those special investigations that come about ever so often. Uh, I said a couple of weeks ago that this building was hitting a, a high period of activity and it has proven it tonight, without a doubt. We have just heard noises all night. We've heard voices. The only thing that we haven't got is, is a visual and that would have topped off what would have been almost a perfect investigation. Was it the Singapore theory, or was it just one of those lucky nights? We'll never know. But this has been very special, and as usual here at My Haunted Hotel, it has all been documented. As I had just stated, the only thing missing from this investigation was a visual capture. Well, that was about to change in two major ways. Come in this week after going through the footage from filming the Singapore theory and we stumbled across something unbelievable. Now it's happened by pure accident. You see me here with Brett and I am filming on one of the Canon XA11s. We're just getting B-roll. Uh, we leave the shot set up for about 15, 20 seconds to capture just cinematic stuff for our cut points. Now in this footage, we have noticed a black mass moves across the side of the window where the original shadow figure was captured in 2014. Just want to go through this frame by frame because it is very very subtle and i can 100 percent confirm that this is not a reflection in the window brett and i are stood completely still which you can see from the cctv footage but just watch this area here it moves from right to left and i'm going to go through this frame by frame here we go I'm gonna go back. As you can see, just moves across the window ever so slightly. And this brings me on to the next capture. Over the weekend, we had the usual My Haunted Hotel experience guests in. And we had a couple of regulars join us, Emma and Sarah, and they, they bring uh, another guy with them this time. And they're actually doing a Facebook Live. Now, during the middle of this Facebook Live, which was for the My Haunted Hotel official fan group, 
people start saying, we can see a shadow in the mirror. We can see a shadow in the mirror of room two. Brett sent this over to Harry and I, and we checked it back. And it is a very, very brief, childlike height, shadow, black mass that moves fast through the mirror. And we checked back the original footage here on the main camera in room two, and we cannot see this mass in the mirror. Now, we're not able to debunk this either because nobody moves in a way to create a shadow within this mirror. This one is a massive, massive capture. And I said during my post-investigation interview after the Singapore theory that the only thing that we missed during that investigation was a visual capture. And then here it is on Friday night, it ca it's captured and, and at the very end of that investigation when we're getting b-roll we capture something on the xa11 as well it's black masses black shadows which are famous here at my haunted hotel and right now as we've moved into october we have hit one of the most substantial points during this project so far these black shadows are being captured more and more due to our cameras and the guests who stay here using their own cameras and phones. This just goes to show that anything could happen at any moment here at My Haunted Hotel. And to those who visit here, we encourage you to document everything, as just like these guests, you may capture a true paranormal moment. This project was designed for this very thing, 24-7 surveillance, and guests from all over the world having the opportunity to witness this unique location. Spooky season is here, and with the hotel so active right now, who knows what will happen next?